All right, you guys, I'm gonna show y'all how I make my seafood boil. First thing I'm gonna do is cut up two onions. One, it, I it really need a large onion, but I'm using a medium and semi-medium. Only during the video have I ever had that much of a problem taking the damn skin off. I'm going to use one whole head of garlic. Or as much as I feel like feeling. Do what y'all want. All right, you guys, so I'm going to put some ginger in. I'm going to use, uh, since I'm using so much butter, which I didn't tell you how much butter I'm using. I'm using four sticks of butter. I'm going to use mm, this much ginger, I guess. I don't know how much that is, but y'all see it. That's how much. I don't know if you guys knew this, but look. Did y'all know? I just learned this from, I don't know who it was from, but I'm glad I learned it. All right, y'all, so I recommend using a food processor, you guys, but I'm not for purposes of the video. All right, onions, garlic, ginger. Let's get ready to cook, y'all. I have all my spices here ready. I'll be using crushed red pepper, orange pepper, onion powder, lime pepper, lemon pepper. Yes, it's a lot of pepper. Black pepper, garlic powder, paprika, slap your mama. Y'all already know that. And then the butter, of course. Oh, yeah. And I'm using Worcestershire sauce, y'all. Oh, you know what I got from Dame? I like to use um, Frank's red chili, that red chili sauce, the sweet chili sauce, but um, I don't have any. So yeah, I'm not going to use it, but you don't have to. It's optional. All right, you guys. So I'm going to turn my stove to medium heat, medium low. Actually, if you don't know what medium low is, it's about three. And I'm going to melt one stick of butter. You can use vegan butter for this. You can use whole fat cow butter, whatever you want. All right, y'all. Now my butter is almost melted. That's good enough. Ooh, y'all hear that? It's just fat. All right, y'all, I'm about to put my onions in. Oh, shit. Get my onions. You can use as little or as many onions as you like. I just like the way the onions look, y'all, okay? So I like a lot of them. You want to cook your onions down a little bit? So you can turn your burner up a little bit more now. I have it on five, so I can cook my onions kind of quick. Y'all almost started cooking the sauce without restarting the camera. All right, um, now you put your garlic in. That's gonna keep happening, y'all. Okay, I just let the garlic saute for a minute until it's fragrant, because I heard other people say that. I heard it on TV, y'all, so just do it. 
Oh, it smells so good. I want to eat it right now. That's what she said. All right, y'all. So I just throw the rest of my butter in the remaining three sticks. Got my sous chef over here. Let this melt down. Kind of want to put another stick in. Actually, I'm gonna put two more. Mm, I'm gonna put two more sticks in, y'all, because I'm making a big sauce. All right, as you guys can see, the butter is melted. Okay, look at that. Like a baby cow just threw up. Perfect. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna add my ginger. You can add this however you like. I just like to do it the way I like to do it. Okay, I'm gonna add my lemons. I am squeezing three lemons, y'all. Oh, look at that. Nice and wet. Oh. You guys, I like my um, my sauce very tangy. Well, no, what would lemons be tangy? I don't know. Whatever. I reduced the heat to back to two. You guys, excuse me. Somebody's breaking in somebody's car. It's okay. how it looks after after the lemons this is fine still buttery all right y'all so now i'm gonna add my seasonings i'm gonna use half a tablespoon of black pepper two tablespoons of garlic powder two tablespoons of onion powder Two tablespoons of slap your mama. If you go a little over, it's fine. I might even add while I'm doing this, you guys. So don't quote me on these on these measurements. I'm gonna use half a tablespoon of lime pepper. Actually, I'm gonna use the whole thing. There we go. Tablespoon of lemon pepper. Remember, you guys, I used six sticks of butter. So it needs to be seasoned. Orange pepper, I'm using a tablespoon. Or a little more, that's fine. Paprika, I like color in my sauce. So I, this is about one and a half, two tablespoons. I'm gonna use more though. And here's the paprika. I would say to use about three tablespoons if you want a dark, beautiful sauce. Might be more, I don't know. We'll see, that might be good. Red pepper, you guys, use to your liking. I'm gonna use half a tablespoon. Worcestershire sauce, four tablespoons. Now we're gonna stir this up, y'all. Now I'm gonna taste it after I'm done and then I'm gonna adjust the seasonings. I might have to use more salt, more slap your mama, or something, we'll see. I turned the fire up to four, you guys, so I can cook the seasonings a little bit. Look at that, y'all, look at those onions. Mm, I can't 
Can't wait to dig my teeth into you. Oh, I almost forgot, y'all. I have two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to use one first. No, I'm going to use all of it, actually. <laughs> Can't wait to taste this. It looks so good. It might be bland, though. I'm about to taste it and see if I need to adjust the seasonings. It's good, y'all. I'm not going to change anything. I could add a little more heat, but I'm not going to do that. I would let this cook for about 10 minutes on low. If you let it cook longer, that's fine, but the butter will reduce and you will have less sauce, so... Don't do that. That's it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys tried my butter sauce. Um, I hope you guys subscribe to this channel so you can watch me eat and watch me travel because that's what I'm about to do. Eat and travel. Bye.